Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is New Year's Eve, tomorrow is New Year's Day and that's when I have my Christmas party. We do a Christmas New Year's party at lunchtime tomorrow for my kids because everybody is so busy right around Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And for me this means a lot of preparation because we're going to do this year we're doing a whole bunch of uh, just store-bought pre-cooked chicken wings. They're easy to go into the oven but I do a lot of other things like calico beans. We do a bunch of uh, hors d'oeuvres and now we've added into it um, uh, cabbage and black-eyed peas for good luck from uh, Melissa. They do that down south. So anyway, my cooking is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to start getting stuff prepared now. The kids then show up tomorrow morning right around 10.30 or so and they help with some of the hors d'oeuvres and about 12 or 12.30 tomorrow we're going to find out not what's for dinner but what's for lunch. For today what I have to do is the stuff that I put into slow cookers, I like to get everything in there like with calico beans you have to brown the hamburger, brown the onions, put all the ingredients in there and then I'm just going to shove it in the fridge and I can plug it in in the morning. So that's what I'm going to do today and then tomorrow morning it's a lot easier for me. The calico beans are always a favorite so I know I've done this recipe on video on the Jones Act Survival Channel and some of you have tried it and I don't think anybody has complained. Now the next thing I want to do is the cabbage part of the black eyed peas and cabbage. I could easily do this tomorrow but there's so much going to be going on tomorrow that better to just have it ready to heat up. Okay, I'll let that heat up and just let it cook down for, I don't know, at least an hour, maybe a little more. So the next thing i got to get ready here is the meatballs. Just got to throw everything in here and tomorrow I'll turn on the slow cooker. And normally you put in the uh, jellied cranberry and then you're supposed to have a bottle of chili sauce. Well, uh, they didn't have any chili sauce, it was completely sold out. So I put in this uh, seasoned tomato sauce for chili. And I put in the cranberries, but I've always find these kind of boring, but we do it every single year anyway. So I am going to add my favorite creamy Caesar dressing in here because you just, I don't think you can ruin it. So might as well try something new. And for this one, all you do is use pre-cooked, pre-made meatballs. Some onion powder and garlic powder in here. Well, this next one is super simple and equally to me boring. You put these little hot dogs in here. And last year I did this, I did three different kinds because uh, to me they're boring and they're, you know, kind of a staple of what we, I don't know, with the hors d'oeuvre thing. But uh, I tried them with hot sauce and everything. And at the end of the day, they were still exactly the same. So I'm just going back to the same usual regular recipe. I do have both the, uh, I've got turkey ones and whatever's in these ones here. And with these here, you just dump in a whole thing of Ken Davis barbecue sauce. All right, well, once I get that cabbage down and I can get that in a bowl and put that in the fridge, that'll be it for today. And that, uh, in about two and a half hours will save me a lot of time tomorrow. Tomorrow now, it's gonna, the kids will show up probably 10.30 or 11 and they'll help, which will be nice. And we're going to do uh, bacon-wrapped water chestnuts, bacon-wrapped tater tots, 
uh, that imitation like crab meat that comes like in a almost looks like a piece of string cheese cut them into one inch pieces wrap them in bacon bake them a ton of chicken wings um, and then we have to do the pizza we call a pizza hors d'oeuvre it's um, pepperoni cheese tomato and green pepper on a toothpick and those are a real big favorite too I like those so there's more um, I gotta finish up and do the rest of the black eyed peas part so anyway tomorrow we'll start at this again tomorrow I'm gonna be using I do all my cooking down here in this little kitchenette probably gonna have to use the upstairs kitchen also I'm gonna need two ovens going so we'll be back tomorrow good morning everybody it's just about 7:30 in the morning here I've been up for a couple hours, got the slow cookers plugged in, and now it's just a waiting game. The kids should be here in a few hours to start doing some of the hors d'oeuvres, and we'll be able to eat around noon or Everything is pretty much ready now, so I think I'm going to start to do some of those hors d'oeuvres. Kids should be here soon. I got everything cleaned up, uh, dishes done, garbage taken out. <laughs> Everything's ready. Everything here seems to be heating up good. That's the calico beans, the little hot dogs, meatballs. And then I put some corn in. That's pretty much just the token vegetable so you think that you're healthy because none of this is any good for you. Well, the first thing I'm going to do here is some of these bacon wrapped tater tots. The kind of the trick to this is though, it's hard to shove a toothpick into a frozen tater tot. And they like to fall apart when they're completely unfrozen, so you got to kind of get in the middle. We'll see if these are ready yet. Well, there it is, one full pan of bacon wrapped tater tots. And I'm just going to put them into the oven at 425, just like a tater tot, and do it for a little over a half hour. All right, now that they are done, we're going to do these, which are done basically the exact same way, but only with this imitation crab meat. You can get these if you're at the, uh, like a Chinese buffet type deal. I have Emily and Jason, they are here, they are, they are starting to do the little baby pickles. We'll go out and look at those in a minute. But these here, you just cut them up into tater tot sized pieces like that. And with these, usually I can use these cutoffs from when I was doing the tater tots because they need a little bit bigger piece. It's so greasy by now, you can't get your hand around it. There we go. One. What Emily and Jason are doing out there right now are those, uh, the baby pickle things. And what they are is just like a baby pickle. And then you put Philadelphia cream cheese. You cut a little piece of ham. You put cream cheese on it and you wrap the pickle just like this here, stab it with a toothpick, and it's done. So, you, uh, so uh, I guess I get, Emily has a question. Is this country or is this Cajun? This is Cajun. Cajun Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Do we not put... Uh, we don't put toothpicks on those, do we? I thought we did. Uh, well, I'm... No, not on those ones. Okay. Okay. What are you I doing? You look like you were crying. Yeah, he was hungry. <laughs> All right, well, I got one pan of this. I'm going to put this in the oven. Same thing. I'm going to put it in there for a half hour, 35 minutes or so. I want to make sure that bacon is done. Alexa, set another alarm for 30 minutes. Second timer. 30 minutes, starting now. Yeah, we need to show Melissa her outfit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
I'll do like 10 out of 9. So next up is bacon wrapped water chestnuts and you do the same thing. Take the water chestnut, whole one, wrap it in bacon, shove a toothpick in it, put it in the oven for 30-35 minutes and that one will be done. I just put them up in the air like this so all that grease can drain off. Sarah is here now to help. She's starting the upstairs oven so we can get chicken wings going. Zach and Sam and them are doing the pizza, are starting to do the pizza hors d'oeuvres. We'll go take a look at those in a minute. Okay, I got one pan of honey barbecue. One pan of hot wings. I don't like hot ones. They might. Got my little helper in here. What you doing, huh? The alarm is going off for these here. There, I grab those chicken wings to bring into the upper oven. bed and we also got her that it's like well a things are all starting to go a little bit too fast I can't keep up but this is what the pizza ones look like just like that they do it a little different usually I would put the green pepper on top the pepperoni on the bottom and then the cheese and the tomato in the middle but it doesn't matter it all tastes good those are a big favorite everybody loves those now I'm just heating up the cabbage that I cooked yesterday to put into the warmer and then I've got to get the black eyed peas. Those heated up also. Now I'm heating up the black eyed peas. Okay, the alarm for the chicken wings upstairs went off. Uh, they look like they're getting there. Oh yeah, mushrooms are looking good, huh? Sure that I, I'm going to make sure that I like get, get myself all pretty well. Put them oh. right into the containers. Okay. Right, we'll get a little... mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Well, it is time to eat. You go. There you go. That's for you. Yeah, you get more of them. Oh, well, that's the boring one I <laughs> You're pretty good at that, little man. You like your truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Page 170. Thanks, Dad. How you doing? Hey, Oh, that's so. Oh, that's 
<laughs> okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next video.